Hi, my name is Antonio, and I want to break this video down into six different subjects. First, the purpose of this video. Second, what is Georgia House Bill 859? Third, bias regarding this whole situation. Fourth and fifth are why it's not okay and why it is okay to pass this bill. And finally, my own personal opinion on the situation. So the purpose of this video is to educate either young adults or people getting or that already have their concealed carry permit because if this bill passes, they will be allowed to carry on college campuses. Also, I'd like to have this video reach the House or members of the House or, you know, members with political power because I feel like I might have a solution to the, to the whole situation, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So what is Georgia House Bill 859? It's just a bill that will allow you to conceal carry on college campuses if you have a current concealed carry permit. So the only requirements are you have to be 21, complete fingerprinting application, and then get approved and you'll have a concealed carry permit. But the problem with that is there's no training course like other states have. For example, Kentucky has a training course and it's reassuring to know that the individuals can handle a firearm before they're allowed to carry in public. All right, but that's besides the fact. So. Some interesting I found is I went ahead and looked into the ethnicities of the people inside the house that voted for or against it, and I have some interesting data. So here it is, 112 white individuals voted for it, 15 white individuals voted against it. Now, zero African Americans voted for it, but 44 African Americans voted against it. Something I, interesting I want to bring up, just based off of numbers, nothing else, is if there was an equal number of white individuals and an equal number of African Americans inside the House, the bill would not have even passed or made it to the governor's desk at this point. Just something I want to bring up, something kind of interesting to look at. So some bias regarding this situation is people like to jump to either one side or the other side of the equation just based off of whether they like or dislike firearms. So for example, I enjoy firearms, I like going to the shooting range, I like learning about firearms, it's just entertaining for me. So I was instantly like, yes, we sh I'm 100% for Georgia House Bill 859. But once I did my research, I kind of changed my perspective on that. So I really want to get past the fact that you're on one side or the other side. We just need to look at all the data and all the knowledge and information from all points of view. So a few reasons that it's not okay to pass this bill is college students are already under abnormal amounts of stress and we don't need firearms being added to the equation. All right, so that's also something that's talked about in an article that I'll link below and it's pretty popular among the Georgia Tech students and I believe it's slightly biased but it does bring up a, a valid point. Also, there's gonna be an increased number of firearms regardless of how you see it. If concealed carry is allowed on campus, there's going to be more firearms on campus. And the fact that there's more firearms on campus means that a firearm is more likely to be available if it needs to be used. So just throwing that out there, just no facts, just throwing the numbers out there. And another thing is, is concealed carry is required. You cannot open carry, so you really won't know who is carrying a firearm. You don't know if, like, professor's carrying a firearm, the guy next to you is carrying a firearm, I'll be carrying a firearm, but that's besides the point. So a few reasons why it's okay to pass this bill is you do have to have a concealed carry permit to carry onto the campus. So you have to be 21, you will be fingerprinted, you have to apply, and you do have to wait to get approved. All right, so it's not just, you know, go ahead, you can start carrying on college campuses. It's still a process. Another thing is college students are 100% exposed on campus. Okay, it's pretty well known that they cannot carry firearms on campus, and that's valuable information to thieves as well. Another thing is, this bill does not have to be passed for any student or individual to go onto a college campus and, you know, cause a shooting or anything, worst case scenario. You know, this bill is probably one of the least of the worries, in my opinion at least. So that's just something I wanted to bring up. So this leads me to my personal opinion. So at first I was like, yes, perfect. I can carry on college campuses soon because I'm not 21 yet. But I'll be able to carry on college campuses. And then I took a step back, did a little research, and that means everyone would be allowed to carry on college campuses as long as they're approved. 
So that means you just do some paperwork and you can carry a firearm in public. The only problem with that is there's no way of checking that you are capable of using that firearm like in any way, like on, putting rounds on target or just carrying safely, you know, even just protecting yourself and not causing any harm to yourself, not just other people. So there's no way of checking that. So that's the only flaw I see with this bill. I think if they have a training program put in place before receiving a concealed carry permit, that would just alleviate this whole situation. So the very last thing I want to mention is please have confidence in your firearm if you choose to carry. So what that means is this firearm is currently concealed carry ready. One in the chamber, magazine full. Okay. So what you want to do is know how to safety check it, which means no round in the chamber and just no rounds in the firearm at all. Okay. So drop the magazine. And you can either hold the slide back or just. And I like to have the hammer down, so I'll do that and safety's off. So there's no fire, no rounds in here and this, this firearm won't go off, okay? But you also need to know how to conceal carry. Safety off. And that's, that's it. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope it was pretty knowledgeable for you. I hope, you know, this makes it to the house maybe. You know, I thought I had some pretty good points. So uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Stay peaceful and cut.